All right. Thanks for tuning in, everyone. This is Anthony Smoke. And so let's just get straight into this. This is my advanced dashboard build part two. So we are going to do the dashboard layout here. Let's get started. So 1280 by 800. It's going to fill up the, uh, the whole space there, right? You really got to... You need more cowbell. You got to fill out the whole space if you know what I'm talking about, SNL scale. Um, let's go ahead and rename this. So once you have two objects in here, it's a lot easier to see where to drag things. So let's take our next horizontal. I'm holding down shift, right? I've got this <laughs> big YouTube logo. And if I click on it, right, it's going to bring up, it's going to bring up this, which we all remember. It's like Inception, right? There's there's layers to this. Uh, it's a process working with these containers. It is a real process. Let's go ahead and hide this. Let's go ahead and grab Profit Graph and let's see if we can sneak this in here somewhere. It's always difficult. Oh, I saw it. There it is. There we go. All right. Let's go ahead and add two horizontals in this vertical. We need another horizontal to take the place of this, uh, the junk drawer. That's not the technical term, but that's what I'm calling it, the junk drawer. Okay, it is time for some action, right? As the 90s song said, uh, Red Man, time for some action. Right, there needs to be, are you listening, Tableau? We should have a uh, unselect all option there. Now, if I did this correctly, when I select the buttons, all of the uh, charts and objects should update. So let's say, okay, now, Let's see if it works. Does Mikey like it? Shout out to Dmitry Shirakov. Shout out to Marilo Cremon. The video recording, the editing, it takes a lot of work. So I thank you for supporting the channel. 